yeah. Where we head and to where it's kinda laugh, rich and greedy. No sympathy at all, no sorrow, no pity. A kid suppressing the good ones, hurting their feelings. I don't think they are humans, check them up, they are demons. They keep chasing up the good life, they live the way. Big cars, big dreams, they are true to wait. No love for the human race, they put your way. Scooping them from a distance, they're used to wait. No more and more trouble, brought and bumpers double. Here to see you happy, but I love it when you crumble. The opposite of love is someone that you're fumble, hungry as hell. Looking for wealth, that you're juggle. Hurt less people, yeah, I sit beneath you. Criminal mind, stop that act, it's illegal. Understand the sequel, this is what I'll give you. Love, each other, please, we equal. Equal. that didn't sleep. Get up and get the baby ready for school. Hey, can we sleep a little? I'll be with this little Get more. up! Are you listening to me? Oh, yeah. You might think I'm wicked for hitting on him. But trust me, he deserves it. I haven't slept full night since I met this guy. And it's beginning to take a toll on my beauty. As you all can see, I'm a beautiful woman. I always feel happy to go to work. Reason being, I love to buy new things and to chat with my girls. You might think I'm a rude girl, but I'm not. I called him a lazy bum because he even complained about the car he drives. Something he claimed he loves doing. Get up and get ready for school if I grow up without you. Work, work, work. Do you have to work to survive? That's so stupid. God, I hate my job.
What you wanna play? Patty cake. Nah, that's it. Patty cake. Patty cake. You really need help. I need those pills, Tabby. You will not understand what I'm going through. Going you through? What, what are you talking about? Listen, you're killing yourself. Listen. Killing who? Killing you. Killing me, the kids, the family. Well, the last time I checked, I am the one taking those pills. Not you, not the kids. And why do you even care? Because I love you. The kids love you. We all love you. But Tabby, if you love me, then you should be out there looking for a job and help me pay the bills around here. And what are you looking for? What are you looking for? My stethoscope. You know that thing that we use in the hospital to check sound, lungs, and heartbeat? I put it in your car last night. Why? Because Fred was playing with it he thought it was a headphone. Well, it's not a headphone. I need that for my job. Okay. I actually do have a job interview with another IT company. Trust me, this really looks promising. Promising, promising. We're promising that does not pay the bills in this house. Okay, babe. Uh, see, I'll take the kids to school and... Trust me, the job and it's going to this house. Alright? Alright, baby. Bye-bye. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. How you doing? Good morning, Tabby. How are you this morning? Good. Did you find a job yet? Uh, not yet, but I trust God he's going to do it. You know, my son went on Craigslist the other day. You should try that. He has a good paying job. Go on Craigslist. I will. Thank you. Dad, we're getting late for school. I know. Good morning, children. Devil. Yeah, what? Tabby, did you just hear what your son called me? I'm sorry, Mrs. Jones. I will take care of that. myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is delirious and mischievous and I will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the presence of my calling. 
With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. Zita, you're assigned to room 114A. Mrs. Mickens, a 78-year-old female with a history of CHF. Scheduled for an EKG this morning. And he's also complaining Excuse of chest me. pains. That's why he's scheduled for the EKG today. Excuse me. And don't forget, she also has a pacemaker. Also, oh, I just want to let you know you she don't? has a pacemaker. Sorry, didn't even step on your corn. What did you just say? Nothing. Adina, you're late. You're scheduled for assignment 115B, Mr. Tim Duncan. He's an 89 year old man with a history of colon cancer. He's complaining of shortness of breath, and he also has diarrhea with blood in it. And he also has a pacemaker. And he just returned from surgery, and he's in PACU. And that is your assignment for today. It's my first day. Don't you think that's a complicated patient for me? Are you a nurse or a CNA? <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, I guess we can't tell from the uniforms. <laughs> Lord, I'm so tired. I'm, I'm old. Nobody knows. I hurt all over. I've been sitting here waiting. This damn girl took her all day, kept calling, wouldn't, lazy. Nobody knows, Lord, help me. And then the damn cab driver's still not here. Oh, God. And all of a sudden, you're taking your damn time for this shit. I'm going to say you're lazy. I don't need you to help me now. What took you so long? Oh, uh, man, I'm sorry you can't see me yet. Oh, aren't you handsome? I'll do that this time, okay? Go ahead. Get away. Get away. <laughs> man, you only helped me when I was trying to get out of here. Oh. Ah! Did you try the strips that I asked you I to? I did. He don't like it. Ah! Just like it's suffocating him or something. Ah! It leaves a scar on my nose. Ah! And did I tell you about the smell? No. Zita, it smells real, real bad. <laughs> and it's all time to have it? Yes. It's for white people. Ah! Uh, uh, don't worry. Just let him sleep on the couch. I did that already. <laughs> I need your help. I need you and the man. What's it from Bethlehem? What's his name? Uh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Jesus. Mm -hmm. My husband. Uh -huh. Oh my God. He is a mess. What? He he's sloppy. He's messy. This morning I almost hurt myself with his shoes in the kitchen uh -huh. on the floor. Sometimes I think he do it on purpose just to annoy me. He talking about I need to work, you know, because he wants to teach me responsibility. What is that? A princess like me got to work. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to teach you responsibility. Mm -hmm. Responsibility, my foot. Mm -hmm. I don't understand this. Seriously, it's too much with him. I'm, I, I, I need, I need help. Okay, See, girl, I'll get back with you. <laughs> girl, no job. Ah, uh, that IT man of yours? He got laid off again. What? That means the things he claims to be good at, he's not good at it at all. Oh no, Fouare. All he does is blame everything on recession, recession, recession. That's all he do. As usual, if it ain't recession, we complain, complain. That's if it ain't the recession, it's for white people. If it ain't for white people, it's a responsibility. What is that? Responsibility, responsibility. Oh, so bad. Resession. Resession. Complain, 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 complain. Oh, oh, something with this man. Oh, this man. Well, Nurse Leski, step in. Get to our assignments again. We're gonna let those men know that we are the nursing from here
Ivy's flowing. Can you hear me, Mr. Duncan? Mr. Duncan. Hmm. This man is dead. I need help. Car blue for eleven. Car blue for eleven. What's going on? He's not breathing. Adine, why would you call a code on a DNR patient? What's going on? This nurse just called a code on a DNR patient. Is he breathing? No, he's not breathing. Breathing. Time of death, 1015. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Adine, come yes. from under that desk and come here right now. Yes, yes. I need you to take Mr. Duncan, clean him up, and get him ready so he can go downstairs to the morgue. God forbid, this patient is dead. I know he's dead. Clean him up and take him downstairs to the mall. I can't, I can't do it. Please, assign me to 50 more patients. I'll do anything you say. But please, don't ask me to do this, please. please. If you cannot do that, then you're fired. I can't. He's dead. What you think you're going to do? Come on. It's normal. I'm, you know, how can you say it's normal and my head is hurting me, my chest? I'm talking about digits. What are the numbers for my blood pressure? Where, 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 where are you from? Watch your tongue, woman. If you know too much, why can't you treat yourself? Anyway, since you want to know, your blood pressure is 120 over 80. The rest is within normal limit, okay? You, you know what? Let me, let me say, l listen. I've been having this stuff for 50 years. I know what normal, this is not normal the way I feel. It's some, and, and, you know what? Are you from St. Elizabeth? Or, 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 Cause you seem crazy to me. Telling me something stupid is that when I know how I feel. You know what? I want to see the doctor. The doctor, doctor will see you. Gosh, where does this woman come from? God, you, you, wait a minute, where, where are you, come here honey, where are you from anyway? Africa. Lord have mercy help me because I should have known it. Because you are slim, you're crazy. I don't want to be here in this place. I want to see that these people are crazy. Lord have mercy. Oh, I can't take this. Yeah, I'm sick as a dog if she talks about me. Hi, uh, Miss Loretta Agnes. Excuse me? I'm very sorry for budging on your place, but. There's just too much work for me to do. And there's no way I can meet up with all the assignments by myself. I mean, we have a full unit, and the accuracy level is way too high. There's no way I'm going to meet up with that. Can't you see we're busy? I'm very, very sorry, but please, I was hoping that you can talk to some of the nurses and see if they can give me a helping hand. Please. You can talk to Deanna Rose and get back with me. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Done, okay. Thank you very okay. much. Hey, Adana, I just talked to Loretta and she asked me to talk to you. We are on the staff, only two CNA on duty, and we need some help. 
So what do you want me to do? Do I look like HR? Did I hire you? I mean, I just said we need some help. There are 60 patients that we have to take care of with only two staffs, and all these patients, they need ADL assistance. Are you dreaming? Who else do you think would do that? That's you and Linda's job. I'm an RN, a registered nurse. I just explained to you that we are on the staff. We have, and, and, and out of this, we have three patients on PACU, weighing 900 pounds. You expect myself and, and Linda to take care of this patient and then have energy for the rest of the day? So listen, I went to school for nursing for four years to do paperwork and to prepare medication for you to possibly help me pass, okay? If you envy my job, then take off for four years and go to school. I'm not talking about your schooling here. I'm not talking about your schooling. I'm telling you that these patients need help and we need you to help us. Again, do I look like HR? Like I said, my job is to do paperwork and prepare medication. Go do your job. If you want to do what I do, go, go be an RN. So go do your job. Adana, we need you to help us help this. <laughs> Zip it. Listen, go take care of your patients, okay? And let me do what I'm doing. And if any of my patients' room smell what is that smell? Is it you or those stuff you're carrying? Oh, my God. <sighs> listen, listen. Tell Linda if I catch her studying again, she'll be looking for a job. Okay? Shh. Come on, see how they tell me. Tell her the Send Mr. Casper. Good you, madam. Hello, Mr. Casper. How are you? Fine, thank you. I have reviewed your application. Your application is great. Unfortunately, we are not employing right now. Oh, well, uh, listen, maybe there's something you don't understand, okay? I really need this job, okay? I don't care if I'm paying the minimum wage or even below minimum wage. I just need to get this job. I'm tired of babysitting at home, please. I, I have a lot of problems at home that I need this job to fix, please. I am so sorry, Mr. Casper. Very sorry. I wish I could help. But right now, we are not employing. Madam, there's something you can do. There is nothing I can do. for me, oh, mm, clean, yeah, and he like even holds the umbrella for me when it rains. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lord, this has become a very obvious. So, tell us, how did you do it? Tell you what? How did you get your man to do whatever you want him to do? It's easy. Easy? Girls, I can't even get my man to open my door for me. Neither should I say serve me. <laughs> okay, girl, let us in, you know, let us say quick. Isn't that why we all are here to talk about our problems at home? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know the statement, all men's are dull? All men's are dull. Mm -hmm. True. 
all <laughs> That's true. They all are dogs. Whether they're a pit bull, mm -hmm. a German Shepherd, mm -hmm. or Chihuahua, mm -hmm. they all can be tamed. Mm -hmm. That is true. You know what? This reminds me. All men are like um, patients in the hospital. They come in sick, and we, the nurses, give them medication. We take care of them. We send them home. And they listen to everything we say. They believe it because we're in charge. Wait, 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 wait. What are you saying? <laughs> I get it. So what you're saying is that all of us men are like patients. We get to bring them home, take care of them. So we take the pills home. See? What pills are you talking about, girl? Let me go find out. You'll be bringing some pills home. Pay attention. Okay. Listen. What we need to do is work longer hours at the hospital. And do more shopping. Yes. Oh, yeah. And that way oh, yeah. they'll miss us more. Oh, yeah, I did yes. that. I told you that. that. I told you that. Now, I am Cassie, the night shift nurse, and besides, I've been working here for the past three months. How come I've never seen you here before? Maybe you have a different routine, and besides, I took over your shift um, yesterday. Are you hired something? No, listen, get this freaking report. Let's get on it. I need to get out of here. You pulling a double, right? Right on. Okay.
Patient name is Mr. Johnson, mm -hmm. 70 years old, mm -hmm. patient of Dr. Alkis. This patient has been complaining of serious abdominal pain for the past 10 hours, mm -hmm. and I could not give him any medication because the freaking doctor left seven hours ago and did not order any medication for this patient. What? You have been making this patient lie in agonizing pain for 10 hours? Seriously? I use distracting techniques, therapeutic massages, and healing touch, just as we were taught in nursing school. And by the way, this patient is also going on an open heart surgery tomorrow. How can a GI patient be scheduled for a heart surgery? Don't ask me, I'm not the freaking doctor. <laughs> now, if your ass would have read that report shit, then you wouldn't be asking me that stupid question now, would you? Has the patient signed a consent form? No. Has the pre-op checklist been initiated? Mm, no. Have you told the patient not to eat before midnight? Hell no. Have you uh, at least tell the patient he's having a surgery tomorrow? No, no, and no. So what the hell have you been doing? I've been busy. Unlike you night shift nurses, you guys always dazzling, chatting around all night long without getting your job done. Oh no, we night shift make sure we clean up your messes and make sure your ass don't get fat and we sit on our lazy ass and talk about how stupid you guys are and talk about what kind of nursing school that you guys went to. <laughs> you fool. We day shift nurses? Do most of the work in the hospital at the end of the day. So you night shift nurses should be more understanding of that and stop going around complaining about everything that we do because technically it is humanly impossible. And that is why night shift is created in the first place. Goodbye. Zita, do you intend going by the grocery store anytime soon? Sam, I walk 24 hours and you drive a cab. You pass through 100 grocery stores in this area. What's holding you not to stop passing and do these groceries? You need to create some time for that. Besides, there's food in the refrigerator I cooked last week. I ask you a simple question, okay? And I did not mean you to get all smart with me or being so defensive. I'm just trying to say I need me some African food. I will not keep dealing with this fast food thing. You want an African woman to cook for you? Your ex-girlfriend won't be a bad idea. You can bring her over. Besides, how do I need no married to her in Africa? Zita, what is your problem? How did I offend you? Did I offend you by walking through those doors or going out? You are my problem, Sana! How do you take me to walk 24 hours? Do the groceries while you sit around doing about your African tree. That's all you do. You just whine. You just whine about everything. You complain about this and
am not. Since you took that oath as a registered nurse, you just complain about everything and I don't have my peace in this house. Now, in one sentence, what is your problem? You! You are my problem! I'm sick of you and sick of the job you have! What are you going to go to school to become something important than doing security or driving a car 24 hours? Your friends are out there defending their PhD. So a liar for goodness sake! <laughs> this is funny. This is hilarious. This is funny. You know why? Because I did not know that it was a crime to drive a cab and do security. Now, these are the same two jobs that sponsor your trip to come here to the USA and then pay for your goddamn nursing tuition. Do you know that? And I did not think that my hard earned money that I get from driving a cab and doing security to take care of this family was a mistake. I slept for you. I cook for you every morning before I go to school. I became your slave in bed. Way more than you do, and you know, and don't start with that we are one crap right now. Did he get the boat yet? No, um, <clears throat> the carpenter is about to start building the boat. I don't understand this. Can he buy a boat machine, machine and let the boat? That's like buying Baku and Okra to cook, come home, no pot. I told you you were stupid. You thought I was joking. Now I know you're a stupid, intelligent man. Look, what I need right now is your useful input. Not insulting and disrespecting me in front of our child. Go upstairs. You know, I want Daddy to reach for me. Upstairs. One. Two. Three. What? That's how witchcraft start, by listening to adult conversation. Look, I'm going to pay the money in two weeks, okay? I think you're smart. Exactly what happens when you have too much time in your hands. And what is that supposed to mean? You read bedtime stories to the children? Uh, Bissena, let me ask you a question. Why did you tell Jack that Mrs. Jones is a witch? <laughs> but that's because she looks and acts like But one. you don't have to tell a kid a thing like that. And I went to the bathroom, I found those your pills. 
I mean, I've told you to stop taking those pills. Stop it! Hey, don't you dare make your voice in this house! And if I do, what are you gonna do? Because you are enough and you pay the bills in this house? Yes, I am. And you know it. And by the way, you were supposed to be going for a job interview. What happened to that? I'm not in the mood to talk about it now. We'll talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're gonna talk about this now. I said tomorrow! No. And where do you think you're going? You sleeping on the couch tonight. I am not sleeping with you, Tabby. Your ass is sleeping on the couch. You, you, you have completely lost it. You have... You, you forgot the fact that you are the same woman I married who has forgotten her matrimonial responsibility to cook, to love her husband, and to care for this house. Except for making babies. You rush in to marry a light-skinned, beautiful woman and a racist third nurse while your mates are out there chasing after women who can cook. Oh, talk about children. Well, I did not make those children by myself, now did I? And those birth control pills I was taking while we were dating? <laughs> You should have Googled them. Then you would have found out that Clozapine and Dobapine are psychiatric patient pills. And for the record, I am not holding you. Your ass is sleeping on the couch. Good night. But you know what? I don't hate my wife, okay? Even though every single time she complains about me not getting a job. My only problem with her is a little attitude towards Lena. Honestly, I don't know if this is a curse or something. You can't believe Bisona called my own mother a witch. Not even that. She wouldn't even let the kids go visit my mother. The same kids she barely have time for. You know, I, I think we have our own personal issues. Yes, it's like we're in the same boat, but we're just in different cabins. I have my own issue with Zeta as well. You know, and, and, and it's crazy. Every time I sleep, she's going to bump me with something, you know, a bag or something. Why? Because I'm snoring. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? Don't you snore when you sleep? No, I don't. All <laughs> men snore when they're tired. We don't get hit by the light. I'm sorry. When you're tired, you snore. All men snore when they sleep. <laughs> no, unless you're saying you guys are not men. I don't snore, bro. Well, fine. I mean, hey, that's not even my main issue. My problem is, Zeta has this attitude, which is bringing me really close to slapping her. Go to the mall, spends all our money on clothes that she won't even wear. Honestly, don't even talk about the mouth because it's gonna get me crazy. That's ridiculous. <laughs> you know? Uh, oh, Paul, you okay? Yeah, that's true. You're not talking, bro. You look like she makes you take out the trash in the night. <laughs> <laughs> she stopped that a long time ago. But I do gotta take a shower at least an hour and a half before I go to bed. What? Whoa. No, I believe it. I believe you. I mean, I'm in similar shoes. Zeta has come up with this crazy idea that I have to watch her fall asleep at least one hour before I sleep. What? Why? Because I will snore if I fall asleep before she does. So I'm supposed to just stand there. And for any reason, if I feel sleepy before she sleeps, I should drive the car for an hour and then come back. How big is this? Insane! <laughs> that's gonna be a goal. That's, that's oh, a goal! Yeah. Oh, Deserves a round. Hey, deserves hey, a hey, round. Hey, you know, no, no, no. A round. Okay, okay. No, 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 Joking. Coming in here grabbing my, my gallon of milk without grating. When was the last time you went to the grocery store? I just want some milk. You wanted some milk? Do I look like your mother? Do you want some breast milk? 
If you're thirsty, grab some tap water. Acting like you're civilized. When you finish, turn it off. I thought you were discharged two days ago. Who are you, Medicaid or Medicare? None. I'm glad you're not my insurance provider because I'll probably die in this place. Come on here, child. Got that right. Bye. Whatever. Hello, Mr. Casper. My name is Dean. I'm the director of um, Human Resources here. Oh, okay. Give me a minute, please. Congratulations, you've been hired as a CNA, and you've been working in the Unit 5. Thank you so much. Thank Congrats, you. Congratulations. And um, yes, your rotation package. You should come in on Monday to start your rotation. You're set to. Thank you. Present. Um, fortunately, this is uh, Dr. Smith. He's the director of your unit, and you've been working directly, directly under him. This is um, Mr. Casper, our new employee. Mr. Casper, well, welcome to my unit. Thank you so much. I hope you do a good job, and see you around. Congratulations thank once you, again. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome anytime. Aw, oh, thanks. You're so sweet. <laughs> I love your house. It's so beautiful. Oh, thank you. I have this new one I want you to try. You love it. Thank you. Mmm. It's really sweet. I like it. I told you. <laughs> You sure you don't want to come with us? I mean, I would love to, but you know Loretta has me working at the hospital. And besides, like ever since I got out of school, I don't ever have anything to wear. Like ever since I got out of school, like it's been really tough, you know? So I didn't bring heels. I've been wearing the same outfit over and over again. That's not cute. Is that what it is? Girl, what shoe size do you wear? Eight, eight and a half. What? <laughs> As God created friends, he created them to have the same shoe size. Really? Yes. Come on, you can wear anything in my closet. Oh, that's so sweet. Come on. What about the patient, girl? Don't worry about it. The CNA will give the patient medications. And besides, Cassie is there. She will help. Come on, let's go. Are you sure? Yes. Are you Come sure? On. Yes. Come on, let's go. Well, don't forget your wine. <laughs> this wine is dangerous. Not a nurse, sweetheart. I, I'm a CNA. I can I, I can assist you. But I call for a nurse. I'm, I'm a CNA. I assist. Could you take this out of here? Isn't that what CNAs do? Oh. Huh? Yes. Take it out now. Get this out of here. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get, come on. Come on. Come on. Take this shit out of here. Nurse! Lord, nurse! This is what she done! Mrs. Washington! Mrs. Washington! Do not call my name loud like that, please! Knowing it is when you call nurses on top of your lungs. You're a problem, child. You know that. You are the problem. And if you were my mother, I would disown you now. Don't play with me like that. Don't do that. 
No, I'm serious. Now, oh, what seems oh. to be your concern? I'm in, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm really in a lot of pain. And I've been calling some, please, I need something for pain. I can't, oh God, I've been slaying here. Can't get nobody. I, okay. I can't for a nurse. I'm going to get but your medication pain. now, okay? But I just want to know if you're coming back, please. I promise I'll be back. All right. Miss Smith, I need you to step on the scale. I'm going to weigh you at your height. Come on, Come on. Look at what Tabby did. Look at this. Look at her face. We don't have a patient by that name. Her husband. Look at this. Look at her face. Can you guys get on back here? Look at that. Hello? all night and I couldn't sleep. What happened to you? Tabby. Look at that. Why? I'm not touch her. Because he didn't want to do what she asked him to do. Oh my God. I asked him to get me some water. Yes. He just hit me. For that? I don't know. I don't believe you. God, what do you mean? Look at her face. That's a fist mark right there. I can't believe he did that to you. It stinks in here. And you find somewhere else to sleep. What? Well, how are you laughing? Our father is nature. Oh, my God. Hey, <laughs> yes. Let us know. Oh, no, she she let us know. Okay. 
Uh, uh, please, is this five fifth is yes. house? Uh, okay, uh, I have to drive down here as soon as I got your call. What's going on? We don't know. The doctor's in there with her. Tell me, please, just tell me what happened. Tell me what, what? What's going on? They, somebody found her in the bathroom and they said she was taking some pills. But she don't take pills. So I don't know what pills. I wonder against the spills thing, but she will listen. Look, Tavi, it's okay. Calm down, okay? She's gonna be fine. Let's just keep waiting for her, okay? Take it easy. Calm down. Oh, hi, Tavita. Please tell me she's fine. She's fine. She's very strong. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Can I see my wife? I'm the weather the head nurse. This is Tabby, Bissona's husband. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Can I speak with you first? Sure, sure. I love her so very much. And the children love her as well. If I wasn't here today, she could be fired. Thank you very much. I, I, I really appreciate this. Um, is, is, is there anything you want me to know? Can I ask you something personal? Sure. Are you physically abusive to Hassana at home? Hell no! I wouldn't do a thing like that! I wouldn't think of doing something like that! She came to work one day with a black eye. Oh, that. Um, I, I, I remember she told me some guys... kept telling me about some guys hitting her at a gas station because of some stupid reason or that thing like that. Okay. I need you to take very good care of her at home. I would do my best, but can I see her? Yes, you can. Please. Not with me. Thank you. Where are you taking me? I told you I don't want to come back to this place. Boy, they don't do anything. I'm sick. I don't want to come up here. They don't do nothing. You are lying. Let's go. Bring me up here! God damn it! I'm not staying up here. Miss Washington, calm down. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm not going to go. 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 I'm not going to the hospital and turned the whole unit upside down and I got hurt. But it's okay. Can I see it? I told you, don't worry about it. I'm fine. Look, me look. Let me see it. Come on, I care about you. I'm just trying to... Karen? Do you want just come out of your mouth? If you're not been sleeping here and smelling like some kind of a horse or bringing in chicken change for a matter of so -called -called job you have, I won't be hurting like this. Leave me alone. Where are you going? You know, I really love this lady. I love her so 
much for I don't know. All she keeps doing is disrespecting me. And I don't know why. If it's because I drive a cab or I'm a security man. I mean, hey, come on. Maybe you are not giving it to her well enough. Excuse me. <laughs> you know what else for me? I can't imagine what I got myself into. I remember when my wife was in nursing school, I used to take up a family back home. A family, a extended family. Everybody in the household in Africa, I used to take her home. And then my dead mother, may I so rest in peace, used to warn me a lot. And I told her that, look, my wife is the mother of my children. And if I die, she's going to take care of them. But after some time, you know, I was like, I don't care. Because women are from hell. I'm sorry, but they are from hell. They are from the devil himself. Wait, wait, fellas, why just generalize it and put women in that category? Is it because your wife is a devil? Excuse me, I tell it as it is, okay? My wife used to be in the choir. She used to sing, yes, Jesus <laughs> loves me. And then when she became a nurse, if you mention the name of Jesus Christ in that house, she's going to smoke you out like the way Gaddafi was smoked out. I think these women actually think that we are dummies. So it's better we take the word to them before they bring it to us. That is, if it is not already being brought. Yeah, yeah, but we can do that without using hands and without using actions, but using silence. If they feel the heat, well, that means that they don't care. But if they do care, then they're going to cough. That's it! That's it, man! Look, I think it's time for us to take our place as men. As the head of the house, and focus more on our younger ones to become better. Yeah, I agree. I think we need to do it for our kids. Mm -hmm. We need to do it for the future. Divorce is not an option. No, you know. Don't. No. Agree? Agree. Agree, yeah, bro. Agree. 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 That's what we do. That's what we do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Agree, yeah. agree, agree, agree. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll see what I can do because I really need to see you as well and um, we can... Hold on. Could you pick up Lena from school today? No, that's not my responsibility. Besides, don't you see me ready for work? Yeah, but I got a job interview. Every day you have a job interview and no job. Besides, you didn't tell me, no. Hey, baby, um... I, I... Baby? Something. Who you talking to? Who's baby? Who oh, you calling baby? Who's that? It's a woman from the job interview. You call this baby? Wait, listen. Baby. No, you are on the job interview. You are sitting in my house. What is coming to you? I paid all the bills and you talk so about what is coming baby? to you? What is coming to you? You're a devil, Catherine. You ain't got no job. That's why you don't have no job. Call it out of females, baby, in my listen house. Listen to me. My I'm house. trying to get a job, okay? That's how you get a job. That's why you ain't got no job. You're a man. No more, you hear me? That's my husband. Don't call this house again. <laughs> Yeah, oh my baby. I'm better now. Oh. Got your roses? Oh, you should be here. Oh, well. 
Oh, they smell so good, they're so cute. Uh -huh. Oh, baby. I'm glad you came to see me. I knew you. I heard everything. I heard about what happened. And I knew you're a good woman. I oh. came to wish you well. Oh, you make this old queen's heart feel so much better, darling. I need it for all my goodness. Oh, bless your heart. Come alive against me. No, I needed that. What the hell? What the hell are you doing here with this Calm bitch? Calm down, Just You should be out there driving a car or making money to take care of our daughter. What do you think I'm doing, Sita? <gasps> Mrs. Washington here is my favorite client. Why well, she treats me well. I heard she's not feeling too good. What is wrong with me bringing her a bunch of roses? Roses? Are you out of your mind? This woman almost killed me and you're bringing her roses? Well, I'm glad you said all. Oh, <gasps> you need to lower your voice some more. You know she has a heart effect, okay? You are a nurse, you should know that. I wonder what your hospital policy is. Did, Mrs. Did, I'm so sorry about all of this, and I wish you. Did you see? Did he freaking shish me? Yes. You didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, no. I've got patients to take care of. Come on, ladies, let's go. Washington is like a bone in our side. But we did a good job today. I agree. I heard she will be transferred to, to another unit, so we won't get the means to do it. Whatever means we do, we better make sure she don't never want to come to this hospital. Z, say something. The ball is in your court. What do you guys expect me to say? That fool will learn some lesson if I even think of this witch. When you have a problem with a man, don't take it up by the woman. Deal with the man first. That's not a woman. That's your grandmother, girl. That's even makes it worse. Anyway, I have to go home. I have a lot of thinking to do. Hold on a minute, see? Don't allow this woman to eat at your heart like cancer. Thank you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. What the hell was that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Really? You had the audacity to come to my job site and brought an old lady who fit to be a grandmother flowers? Oh, that, exactly. I did exactly that, and I don't see anything wrong with it. As a matter of fact, I should have probably added some fruits, banana or something. When people are sick, you care for them, and that's exactly what I did. You stupid bastard! You want to tell me my job now? Don't you dare. Otherwise, I will inflict more pains to that wound of yours. Pains worse than labor pains! The same lady inflicted this pain on my forehead. You went and gave her flowers right in front of my friends. Oh, Jane! That lady you're talking about is my client. And she gives me more tips than anybody does. When people are sick, you care for them. Sick care. Sick you care. They did not teach you that at nursing school, you wicked woman. You fool! How dare you do? And when I'm done with you, you have my everything all over your face. You change your ways. You change yours first. Change your ways. Wicked woman. Good night! I will be sleeping on the couch, snoring. Hello. Daddy, you need to stop telling those whores of yours. Stop calling my house. What has come over you, Miss Anna? Do you think I have time for girls? Shut up. I'm gonna drive this number now and we're gonna find out who's the whore who's been calling my house. Tabby, a blocked number. Who is calling you with a blocked number? Answer me, Tabby! Who is calling you with a blocked number? So you think you 
going to be calling my house, trying to get together with this stupid man that calls himself my husband and get away with it? Oh, it's okay. Um, how, how are you doing? How, how is Papa? Really? Oh, oh, it's, it's okay, Mama. Um, I, I'll make her time and, co and come and visit, okay? What? You want me to bring the kids? Okay, Mama, um, I'll, I'll, I'll come with the kids. Oh, no, 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 you're not taking my children to that witch of your mother so she can use them for some type of ritual. What, what's it, Mama? <laughs> hello? 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 Hello, Mom? Hello? Every single day she screams, I should get a better job. Hey, but you don't have to listen to her whining, bro. See, in this country, everybody is on life support. And um, especially this um, recession thing and laying out of job thing. See, I've been off my job for how many years? Like four years. Trust me, my life has been a living hell with my wife. She kept ranting, whining every day. Amen. And the only, the only for people that the recession doesn't affect other nurses, of course. That's right. The nurses, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> These nurses, they, they laugh at me every single day at work because I'm a CNA, you know. They tell me to do very stupid jobs, go do the... Uh, 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 uh. How, how are you coping with the CNA thing? Because sometimes I imagine, you know, those nurses telling you, oh, take off that trash, take it back there, no, come back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. We have to encourage ourselves, man. Cheers. We have to make ourselves happy. Same woman that gave you two acres of land back home to build your family house. <laughs> that same land she uses to kill people. And let me tell you something. I don't want your children near your mother. I don't want them talking to your mother on the phone. I don't want them going to your wicked African country. Okay? And for the record, if anything ever happens to them, even if it's a scratch, I swear to God, I will kill you. I will kill your witch mother and that weak ass father of yours. They're my kids too. They're also my kids. Janet, it's time for you to take your medicine. I don't want to take my medication. Look, Miss Janet, 
Do we have to go through this I every time when it's time for you to medication. take your medicine? Look, it's good for you. It makes you feel well. You need to take it. I don't want to take my medication. Do you think I have time to be standing here every time forcing you to take your medicine? Do you want to die? Be my guest. You the one dying, not me. Okay? Here you go. What's your name? Victorine. Victorine? I'll see you later. <laughs> Doctor? Doctor, nurse, nurse. Nurse. Yes. Nurse. Yes, Miss Janet. I heard you holler when I was coming down the hall. How can I help you? This, this nurse was very rude to me, and she said that she wished I would die. What nurse? Uh, H Hesterine. No, Miss Janet, your nurse name today is Nurse no, Zeta. No, she told me her name was Hesterine. Oh, we don't have a nurse Do by that name. Doctor. What is going on, Miss Janet? Look, this, this the nurse, this nurse told me that she wish I would die. Which nurse is that? It has to ring. Do we have a nurse by name has to ring? No, we don't. Her nurse today is Nurse Zeta. No, uh-uh. Oh. No, she told me. Let me ask you a few questions, Miss Janet. What day is today? It's Monday. And where? what time is it? Six o'clock. Six, okay. Where are you? Do you know? I'm home. Are you home? You're not in the hospital? Uh, no, uh-uh. Okay, no problem, Miss Janet. I'll make sure you get some medications, okay? Okay. All right. Nurse? Yes, yes, doctor. I need you to write an order for her. Uh, how do two milligrams okay. I am okay. every four to six hours? Okay. And yeah. make sure she gets it. Okay, yes, sir. All right, Miss Janet. Miss Janet, I'm going to get your nurse to give you that injection. Okay. and nursing it crap. Something you can be proud of. Like, write a book or something. Casper. Casper, don't you hear me talking to you? Ah! 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 Do you want to blame me or something? Just before the neighbors call the police. <sighs> Good night. It's not funny. Hey, baby, how are you? Hello. How's your brother? Sounds so serious. You're yeah, doing good. Good, 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 good to hear that. Good to hear James Jones? Hey, nurse. Are you ready for your HIV medication? Uh, it's a wrong patient. Wrong patient. You are Jim Jones, right? Admitted for pneumonia and poor HIV medication management? Excuse me, girl. Don't you know anything about patient privacy? Who's in charge here? I got this. I got this, I got this. I got this. Do you know I could sue your health for this? You can't want to lose your damn license! Jace! What's wrong with you? Are you dead? Look, do I look like who you've been sleeping with that got you sick? Do I look like your girlfriend? <laughs> or maybe your boyfriend because these days you don't know who and what people are sleeping with. Okay? If you are man enough to put your pants down and contract HIV, you should be man enough to take your damn medicine. Damn, let's. Here you go. Thank you very much. You damn, boss! Oh my god! Out of here! Damn, bitch! Five millimeter. 
you know, I'm the medical director here, right? Mm -hmm. I can make you a child nurse. Oh, right. Yes. You're beautiful, you know that? Thank you, handsome too. But you know, before I do that, I have to go out with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We fix a date. Let me think about it. Oh, there's no need to think. Oh, the patient has a vascular accident. Okay. Hey, doctor. And I, hi, how are you? And we have to treat the patient with agency. Okay. We'll have a Saturday. Okay. All right. I'll do a house call. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. glorious play at school, right? I hope you'll be there. Do I look like a play watcher or someone who has time for crap like that? Chloe is your daughter too, you know that, right? <laughs> I know that much. Nine months, baby kicking, throwing up, and not to mention the pain I felt when giving back to her. So don't you ever tell me about Gloria being my child. You know I have regrets. I have regrets marrying you because you put in your job before your family, that's why. <laughs> oh, really? If anyone should be regret here, it's me. You lied to me throughout this relationship. 
Did you tell my parents you own a cab company before you marry me? You lower your voice, please. For me to come here in America and find out that you're a cab driver. Did I leave? No. I stayed just to weather the storm with you. And here you are, waking up this morning with your stupid self, telling me that I'm not a fit mother. I, I never said anything about that. <laughs> well, so what's, what's the difference? I didn't say What is the difference of being an unfit mother and someone who cares less about her family but her job? You tell me. Miss Bassanova gave you two tiny notes. I gave you two tiny notes. And you still screaming about pain? Why you talk to that lady like that? You're not supposed to talk like that. She's she's in pain. You know what pain means? Pain means pain medication. Who are you to talk to her like that? First of all, I'm not talking to you. You need to shut the hell up, you old veteran patient. You know what? You are a very stupid woman. You know what? Don't you know that pain is subjective fool? Did you know that? No, I don't. Don't you know, didn't you learn anything when you went to nursing school? Like I said, shut the hell up. I'm not talking to you. Don't listen to this lady. You don't have no pain medicine after four hours. You hear me? After four hours, I'm going to give you your pain medicine. Don't listen to this lady. She's an old fool. All she does is run her mouth, okay? You know what? You better be so glad I'm in this bed, bitch. Because I don't know who you think you are. You don't talk to me like that. And you don't treat that patient that they like that. She's sick. You know what? I wish that she was on your damn feet. I would. Anyway, you're not due for another pain medicine within four hours, okay? After four hours, I'm going to give you your meds. Do not listen to this old fool. All she does is run her mouth, okay? Excuse me, Nurse Ratchet. Could you dis remove this old fool's liquid, please? Drink it or do whatever you want to do with it, but get it out of here. Isn't that your job? No, that's not my job. Can you open your mouth so I can pour it down your throat? Because that's all you do, run your mouth. Oh, you know what? I, uh, you know what? You're going to get your, your fat, fat ass, no, bitch. You. No, You're going to get yours. I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her job. She ain't going to talk to me like that. This damn shit still sitting on the bed. Uh-uh, no. She's stupid. You see how she talked to you? You gonna do nothing about it. Report her ass, you know, that's what you need to do. Shh, yeah, I wish I thought it. Oh man, this place here is crazy. Everything is not always what it seems. No, I tell you, how can Loretta try to solve our problems when she got problems of our own? I say, follow your heart, okay? All right, girl. Okay. I'm not happy. Every woman needs security. Ever since you lost your job and you started a part-time CNA job, you've been stuck in the same position. And I don't feel secure with you, Casper. Look, all I need is for you to just recognize and treat me like your husband. I'm trying my best to get a better job, so please just support me. Do you think I like the fact that this family is falling apart? I don't, okay? Just give me some time to get a better job and please just support me. Support? I do support you, but I'm tired of being mother and father to this household. Look, I'm trying my best to get a better job. Do you think I like the fact that I work as a CNA whilst your friends laugh at me? No, I'm worth more than that. What don't I do? I cook, I clean, I drop the child off at school, I go pick her up. Something you hardly do or notice ever since you became an RN. All I ask, Casper, step your game up. Just step your game up, Casper. That's all I ask. 
Just stop your game. Just give me some credit. That's all I ask. A husband of mine had the guts to let a female call my house for and and the worst part of it in front of me he's calling her baby what <laughs> in front of me your house mm -hmm. and what did you do what you didn't ask me what I did I beat the hell out of him um, what about him what did he do <laughs> he ran like a little punk oh, yeah. My man these days, Summer, when I call him, he said he's with the client or he's busy. As if he's the only cab driver around town. Do you have anywhere special we can go to? No, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's go to the movies. The movies? Yes. <laughs> yes. What, what are we going to watch? I like drama, Action. darling. Drama? Yes. Forever young. <laughs> Please, don't <laughs> go there. Yes, forever young would be great. <laughs> yes, Very yes, funny. yes, yes, yes. Nicole, excuse me. Okay. Hello? Hello, Sama? Where are you? And when are you coming? Uh, I'm still on the road. Okay, Zeta, I'm still driving, and you know I cannot be driving and be on the phone at the same time. What? Don't you get smart with me? And don't you dare try to hang up the phone on me. When I park, Jesus. I will call you. Hang oh. up the phone. Are you serious? Why you do that? Mrs. Washington, women don't like to be told the truth. A lie is only a lie to the person that tells the truth when you give it to. Okay. You, you know, there are consequences for your behavior, sweetheart, like anybody else. I'm Miss, telling you now. Mrs. Washington, we were talking about where we going. Don't let your looks fool you. I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, I think you're so smart, but lying, I can't get with that. <laughs> okay. Who you gonna answer? Okay. So what are we gonna watch? Uh, the three stages. <laughs> this is so heavy. This is oh, nice, nice. you nice. That's a nice drink, some Syrah. I <laughs> like that. Thank you. Can we have a toast, sweetheart? Yes. Oh, oh we my can. goodness. Go to good health? To us. <laughs> to us. <laughs> I don't like that. Mmm, uh -huh. that's good. Syrah. Oh! Oh! Are you comfortable? Yes, I'm good. I'm oh, good. you're good. That's, That's good. good. You have here, Ms. You're Washington. Hard, hard work. Hard work. Right. And you're such a handsome young man, I tell you. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> mm, you're so fine. Thank you. <laughs> so, I got a surprise for you. You do? Of course, a gift. Oh, just a gift, honey. I tell you. Oh. Oh, your fine self. Lord, give Oh, I'm fine. 
Oh, come on. slow down because you're still recovering. Yes, I do know that, but I'm fine. I'd be better if you was there with me. I'm doing fine. Where's your aid? My aid? Why? I sit at home. Okay. I know you don't like that 16-year-old child. She's 16, honey. No. Just just want to be sure that you will be fine. Fine, fine. I just want to Come be sure along. that you will be fine. Mm -hmm. You know you're recovering. Mm-hmm. Well, I will leave now. Mm-hmm. But you just got here. I know, but I have some things to do. Oh, Lord, Emerson. All right, well, what can I say? We can get together? Yes. Maybe Saturday? Um, uh, okay. Where? We can go to the park club, you know. Yeah. For some dinner or some drinks. Oh, my God, your hands are so soft. Lord, come on here. You better get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, you better get out of here, sweetheart. Uh, I'll see you on Saturday. And I have enjoyed your company. Can we get some? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. All right, it was a pleasure. Thank Drive you. carefully, honey. Thank you. All right.
thank you. I really needed that. I wanted to know that everything that happened be in the past. You were once lost, but now you're found. It's okay, I love you. I love you. It's okay. Guess what? I have a good news and a surprise for you. I got my job back! I got my job back, you know, with all the benefits, all the vacation, all the sick pay, everything. I got it back. And guess what? What? I am starting next week with this high tide position. Go straight to the administrator if you don't give us each, including Zeta, two weeks of vacation, mm -hmm. one month. Oh no. <laughs> hold on, oh, hold on. Oh, oh, no. oh. Cassie, ain't your boyfriend the big, tall, black dude in the what? WWE? Ooh. Yep. And the Rocky. Hey. <laughs> Are you in with them? Of course. Duh. Hey. Now put it in. Okay, one month. Okay. One month vacation for each one. Hey. Don't forget to delete it. We'll give you the date. Hey. Let's you go. go. Thanks, Doc. Right. Have a good one. Make sure. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> oh, no. from here. Yeah, yeah. Where we heading to? Where this kind of life, rich and greedy. No sympathy at all, no sorrow, no pity. And keep suppressing the good ones, hurting their feelings. I don't think they are humans. Check them out, they are demons. They keep chasing up the good life. They live the way. Big cars, big dreams, they are true to wait. No love for the human race, they put you away. Scooping them from a distance, they're used to wait. No money, more trouble, brought and bumpers, double. Here to see you happy, more than love it when you crumble. The opposite of love is someone that you're from. Hungry as hell, looking for wealth, but you juggle. Hurt less people, yeah, I'll sit beneath you. Criminal minds, stop that axe, it's illegal. Understand the sequel, this is what I'll give you. Love each other, please, we equal. Equal. I'm so glad you decided to have dinner with me. It's a pleasure. Oh, Lord, and you're so fine. We're going to make you a nice young man and handsome. 
But I'm going to tell you something. You got a good heart because when I was in the hospital, you played nurse with me and I had nobody. What? Yeah. Yeah. I told you that's him. What are you, what are you doing here? Please, please. What is that on here? Sit down, please, please. Really, please. What? Okay. Zeta, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Let's go. I okay. don't know. I got this, okay? I just want to sit here and listen to what this lady has to say. Let's go. Okay? I'll talk to you later. You know what? I don't have time for this. Bye. Thank you. I'm listening. Listen, Mr. Sapper. You know, I know you didn't have no crush on me. And I know you wanted to make your wife jealous. God knows I didn't hear no question on your husband. But I'm going to say something. You guys can make this marriage work. But listen, take this to heart. You got to treat your husband good. You don't have to go out looking for other women. Young or old. And you got to play a part in that too. You got kids. Let me tell you something. I've been married seven times. Disaster. I wouldn't want to make, I wouldn't want you to make the same mistakes I made. Neither one of you are, okay? But let me say something. If you need me, you can always call me. Your husband has my number. Call me if you need me, I'll be there. I would never hurt you and I love you. Oh yes, I love you. I want it to work, you want it to work. Oh yes. I'm very serious about that. And this young Mr. Va and he's still handsome as he can be. Okay? You gonna take care? I love you guys, okay? God is wa blessing you and watching you. All right? Bye bye.
Emergency meeting because there's somebody here from the Department of Health who is here to help better our services. So mm -hmm. let's wait and hear what he has for us. Oh, right. There he is, Frank Jordan uh, from the Department of Health. Frank, I <coughs> team members. Hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. How are you? Hi, I'm Detective Frank with the Department of Health. And I am accompanied here with Miss Gloria Thompson, who also works at the Department of Health and who has been helping us with an ongoing investigation. What are you doing? Washington. Washington. What is she doing? And has been helping us with an ongoing investigation. Well, hello, you guys. How are you doing today? Isn't, isn't it nice that we can all get together as a family? You don't think so? Mrs. Washington? This lady is This hospital has had 72 deaths in the past five years, 52 due to natural causes, and 20 due to negligence and abuse. You may all return your hospital badges pending investigation, and you will not be allowed to practice. And if found guilty, for any of these charges, your licenses to practice will be stripped permanently. And you'll be facing jail time no less than 25 years per count. What? None of you will be admitted into the hospital and none will be allowed to leave the country. Okay, give up your badges. I told you so. Including you, Dr. Beckinson, your badge. Your badge. I just got this. I didn't do anything. Just put it down. Security is written by the elevator to see you guys out of the building and in the outcome of the investigation. Please stop. Security! Security!
What? We've been on this case for the past one year. I didn't say DCA. I said the private airport on Church Street. They're probably all the way to Alcapoco now. I'll call you back. Entonces, lo vamos a México. Raúl, sí, es correcto.